Kruger's family was mostly quiet but did show some emotion during the sentencing. Colosimo mostly sat stone-faced during the 40-minute proceeding but did nod when his sentence was read. He also put his head in his hands when Smallwood recalled the events of the night Kruger died. The Hay River man pleaded guilty last year to the second-degree murder of 18-year-old Meg Kruger. Colosimo fatally stabbed her after she tried to end their brief relationship. In her decision, Justin Shannon Smallwood said Colosimo must submit a DNA sample for forensic analysis and he'll be prohibited to own a firearm starting today until 20 years after his imprisonment ends. He's also ordered to have no contact with several of Kruger's family members. Smallwood did give Colosimo credit for pleading guilty, therefore avoiding a trial, giving Kruger's family Family some relief. She also addressed Kruger's family saying, a sentence of imprisonment cannot make up for the loss of a loved one. The court cannot undo the harm that has been done. Smallwood said she does hope that the end of the criminal proceedings will help them move forward. Colosimo won't be eligible for parole for 13 years. Carla Ulrich, CBC News, Hay River.